To write the name for FeHCO3, three, we first need to recognize that we have iron here. It's a transition metal. And then we have this polyatomic ion, group of nonmetals. We have three of them. So we have the metal, the polyatomic ion. We're going to treat this as an ionic compound, and we're going to take charge into account when we write the name. So first off, we're going to name the metal as it appears on the periodic table. Fe, that's just iron. Next, we're going to write the name of the polyatomic ion. This is the polyatomic ion here. We have three of them. You need to either memorize that HCO3 is the bicarbonate ion, or if you're allowed, look it up. So lowercase b. And so far, we have iron bicarbonate is the name for FeHCO3-3. But iron, that's a transition metal. So because it's a transition metal, we need to write the charge in the name. The whole bicarbonate ion right here is 1 minus, and we have three of them. 3 times 1 minus, that's 3 minus. The iron, it has to be 3 plus. So we're going to write Roman numeral 3 in parentheses right here in the name to show that 3 plus on the iron. So the name for FeHCO3-3 is iron 3 bicarbonate. You'll also see this written as, instead of bicarbonate, as hydrogen carbonate. So that's another name that you'll see, iron 3 hydrogen carbonate. The bicarbonate is probably the one you'll see more often, but hydrogen carbonate, that's a valid name as well. If you were given the name here, iron 3 bicarbonate, and asked to write the formula, you'd know, because of the Roman numeral 3, that iron would be 3 plus, and then you would have memorized that the bicarbonate ion, the HCO3, the whole thing has a charge of 1 minus, so you need three of them. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.